and good morning. Coach Tom here from Rocket Point Fitness and the Coquitlam Wellness Center. I had a delicious sleep last night. It was about nine hours, went through the whole night, didn't wake up at all, and I feel fantastic this morning. Um, I just want to do one more little talk here on the sleep series as we wrap up our sleep challenge. Uh, we will be doing it again at some point in the near future. But I just want to leave you with um, seven tips. Seven tips to help you get to sleep at a good time every night, how to fall asleep quickly, and how to stay asleep and hopefully get that eight to nine to ten hours. Is that possible? Anyway, here's tip number one. And this one might be a little bit controversial, and that is avoid alcohol uh, before going to bed. And um, you know, these day and age, with the, when it's quite stressful, you might be saying, well, it helps me relax, helps me get to sleep. The thing is, is that alcohol um, doesn't help you get to sleep, it sedates you. And that's two different things, sedation and sleep. Uh, in deep sleep, or sorry, in a regular sleep, we have those stages of sleep. Uh, a light sleep, deep, non-rapid eye movement sleep, and rapid eye movement sleep. And what alcohol tends to do is fragment that sleep cycle so that you're not getting enough deep non-REM sleep. And sometimes you're not even getting through a proper stage in the sleep cycle of deep sleep to achieve REM sleep. And you'll know if you've hit REM sleep because you'll have dreams, you'll have vivid dreams. And uh, people that do sober October or dry January, they'll, uh, they'll often complain, man, I'm having the craziest dreams right now. And that's great because that means your body is getting through that full cycle of sleep and achieving um, REM sleep where there is so many benefits and, and such a great importance into having enough uh, REM sleep. Anyway, uh, try to avoid the alcohol before going to bed. So you're saying, I should day drink? Well, maybe we should all just kind of watch our drinking. Uh, number two, let's make this a rule. Uh, use the bed for sleeping and sex only. Number three, make your bedroom as dark as possible. Get the blackout curtains, make sure your blinds uh, close up tight, and make sure that there's no LED lights at the bedside table or in the room. Go with that old, warm, ambient glow of those uh, light bulbs. Um, number four, your body needs to drop one degree Celsius in order to fall asleep. So make sure the room is cool at night. Keep your head exposed because your head is just a massive heat sink that draws heat out from the rest of the body. Uh, your other heat sinks are your, are your like legs and your hands. Um, I fall asleep by dangling a leg over the bed sometimes. Uh, sometimes it also helps to have a hot bath uh, before going to bed because when you're in that hot bath, um, the heat will be pulled to the, the skin and when you get out, you'll cool off fairly quickly. Uh, the other thing too is try to avoid exercise a couple of hours before heading to bed because of course your body temperature goes up when you exercise and you need to cool it down one degree before falling asleep. Uh, number five, go to bed at the same time every night and that includes weekends. Set yourself an alarm to go to bed. Now creating this habit, uh, your body will naturally adapt and getting to sleep will become easier and easier. Six. If you are lying awake in bed, um, just don't lay there and think about, man, I'm not getting any sleep, and then, and then get stressed out. Just gently get out of bed and go do something that doesn't require a lot of cognitive ability until you feel the pressure of sleep coming on again. And seven, obviously avoid caffeine in the afternoon and evening. And don't forget, caffeine still exists in decaf, dark chocolate, ice cream, and many other delicious things that I like to eat in the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for uh, watching the sleep series. Uh, we hope to see you again real soon. Stay safe, stay healthy, blue skies, and get a good night's sleep.